guys welcome back to my channel in this episode i will be featuring the cosina ct1a camera so this camera was given to me by um one of the follower of my facebook uh, page if you want to check it out it's a vintage camera enthusiast and collector uh, it will be posted down below so this guy named Mr. Craig gave me uh, four cameras, I think, and it includes this one. Um, I I had a Cosina CT1 camera before, but it got broken for some reason. It just stopped working and the lever wasn't um, advancing anymore. So he responded to my to that post of mine and he said he has one that he doesn't use anymore so he'll be happy to part it with me which made me so excited so this one is a 20 to 70 millimeter 1.4 lens uh, it's it's perfect um, during these times that um, tulip festival is actually happening so I was able to take uh, pictures of um, tulips and um, yeah it was it's a fun camera to use I'm still learning on how to expose things properly and using light meter and stuff so the pictures that will be shown will be either underexposed or overexposed but it was such a fun um, it, it was such a fun experience to do uh so i was there taking picture after my bike ride i was taking picture um of the tulip actually it was uh, only the last two shots that i so back again with the the lens uh this is the focusing distance which is uh uh 0 0.7 0 0.8 uh, meters up to five meters to infinity and these are the aperture ranging from 4 to 22. This is your shutter speed dial. And they work on... I had my first um, take a picture, um, photo shoot for the tulips. But then, uh, why my mistake was I left this one a bit higher. And so, I was thinking uh, when I reached the 36 shots and I just keep going until like 40 and realized that I never, the field never advanced. And when I developed, I was so upset that nothing turned out. But the second one, I made sure that it's all good. And so this one... What a nice camera needs some cleaning for sure but I tried it anyway it's one of the cheap cameras but uh, you know that the uh, for a fact that this company the Cosina is um, the one that made the Voigtlander Voigtlander Bessa camera so they are known for producing good quality camera it's not as heavy as um, say um the uh, pentax or the conicas or the olympus camera and it's made of plastic but it doesn't mean that you know it doesn't produce good photos it's just depending on you as a photographer and how you'll expose your film and yep i was quite happy with this one this one is certainly a keeper for me and I'm so happy. Beside this um, lens, I had the uh, one wide angle lens and a 50 millimeter lens. So it's a complete kit. I can actually keep this one together with my favorite Nikon FE and my Pentax K uh, K1000. So the next uh, slide will show you the uh, photos that were taken using this camera here in Ottawa during the Tulip Festival uh, it was the day before that I that I had a photo shoot of the camera I was quite upset by uh, 
people who were so mean during my during my taking photos and you know uh, it's a very long story but um, I recovered people can be really mean it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it's about me it's uh, they're the ones who have problems so I just keep keep walking keep taking pictures and uh, yeah for you guys these times are really hard and people would really appreciate um, if people can share some kindness to everybody everybody's going through tough times but it's not an excuse to be to be mean to each other you know if you can't be really nice to people um, just go on with your life and I think mind your business and yeah I am a firm believer that you know if you can't say something nice or if it doesn't benefit someone you should just you should just uh, go on your way and you know do you <laughs> so as for us film photographers just keep keep getting creative and have fun with it don't mind other people who are who are just really miserable in their life <laughs> so that's it for now and uh, i hope you have a good day and enjoy the nice weather that's coming ahead still practice social distancing and i hope you guys have a good day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thank you.